Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, dear fellows, uh, today we are going to talk about nuclear deterrence and nuclear weapons um, in general. Um, that why countries acquire nuclear weapons. So what are the reasons behind uh, which country, uh, you know, um, for example, United States of America, Soviet Union, uh, why they acquired nuclear weapons, then the, followed by France, UK and China, why they acquired nuclear weapons, what were the reasons that India and Pakistan had gone for nuclear, and then North Korea and Israel. So um, we need to understand um, their reasons. So primarily, uh, when you are going to attempt this question, you are going to give inter uh, intro uh, in the first place. And in the intro, you are going to talk about uh, this question, that why countries go for nuclear weapons. So initially, uh, countries go for nuclear weapons for global status. Uh, like, for example, United States of America, um, they developed nuclear weapons uh, just for global status because they wanted to be a uh, hegemonic power in the world. They wanted to rule the world. They wanted to be, um, you know, uh, control the world as a superpower. So for superpower status, um, you require nuclear weapons and, uh, you know, you require ultimate power. So nuclear weapons uh, could provide you ultimate power. So this was the reason that uh, Soviet Union um, primarily, uh, they also developed nuclear weapons in 1949. Uh, they developed nuclear weapons not because the US developed nuclear weapons. Their nuclear program was quite advanced because uh, United States of America detonated first nuclear device in 1945. And um, so, uh, they developed nuclear weapons, Soviets developed nuclear weapons in 1949, which means their nuclear program was already advanced. So why they acquired nuclear weapons? So Soviet Union acquired nuclear weapons for, you know, they, they also wanted to be superpower. So both countries, they acquired nuclear weapons for global status. Followed by uh, UK and France, uh, they acquired nuclear weapons for security because they were conventionally weaker powers against Soviet Union because Soviet Union was very powerful state at that time and economically, politically, and uh, you know, geographically, they were uh, so vast. Even today, they are the largest country in land mass. So they had, you know, a uh, huge force, uh, you know, land forces. Along with that, they also had, you know, a good connectivity in the world, uh, especially Warsaw Pact countries were part of the Soviet Union and they were, you know, they, they were having a very strong alliance. So uh, UK and France, they, you know, developed nuclear weapons to prevent uh, Soviet Union from any, a conventional or nuclear attack against them. Followed by China, uh, China acquired nuclear weapons primarily for security because they had some issues with the uh, Soviets and uh, to, uh, you know, uh, and plus they also uh, had issues with the United States of America initially. So just to, uh, you know, protect themselves from these major powers, uh, Chinese also developed nuclear, you know, developed nuclear weapons in 1964. And ultimately China also became a nuclear weapon state in East Asia and um, just to, uh, you know, maintain balance against uh, mighty Soviet Union and United States of America. Uh, followed by the Chinese, uh, we have Indians and India acquired nuclear weapons in 1974. Uh, why they acquired nuclear weapons? India acquired nuclear weapons, obviously, for the global status. Um, if you study the Indian civilization and uh, historically, uh, during the time of, you know, Mauryan dynasty, uh, Chankya Kotelia was their advisor. And uh, at that time, you know, uh, Chankya, with the help of, you know, Chankya Kotelia, um, Mauryan uh, dynasty or Chandragupta Maurya, who was the king of, you know, subcontinent uh, in 300 BC. So they established the largest, the biggest ever Hindu empire in subcontinent in which they so, you know, captured some parts of Afghanistan as well. Pakistan, whole Pakistan was part of the, you know, Mauryan uh, dynasty, then, you know, other parts of, you know, uh, you know, uh, Iran and others, they were also part of this dynasty, Mauryan dynasty. So India wanted to, um, you know, revive that particular thing. And they wanted to have, a, you know, uh, a huge, uh, this was the slogan, uh, which the Indians, you know, uh, initially when they, um, the Britishers, they, when they left uh, this region. So um, Nehru, he uh, was quite oblivious that India would become, you know, uh, a major power in the world. So for major power status, India uh, needed a nuclear weapon. And that was the reason they acquired nuclear weapons. Some people say that, uh, you know, um, 
it was because of China, because China acquired nuclear weapons in 1964 and the Indians had problems with China in 1962. So this is, uh, this is the reason that the Indians acquired nuclear weapons. But this is not the true case. In 1952, Indian uh, uh, Nehru asked the Homi Baba, who was the you know, father of their nuclear program, uh, that can you make nuclear weapons? And he replied, yes, we can make nuclear weapons within three years which means that the Indian nuclear program was in quite advanced stage in 1952, and they could get nuclear weapons by 1955. So um, uh, they could not get a nuclear weapon at that time because at that time they might have been you know, facing some problems. Um, so uh, there was no need at that time. But in 1974, ultimately they got nuclear weapons. We'll discuss this in detail in the coming lectures. So, Pakistan followed by Pakistan. Uh, of course, Pakistan acquired nuclear weapons for security reasons because Pakistan had, you know, four wars with India and uh, automatically 1971 was devastating year for Pakistan because we lost half out of country. And uh, we, you know, conventionally we were inferior to the Indians economically and politically. And, you know, overall, you can say um, uh, Pakistan was quite weak, uh, weaker than the Indians. So that was the reason that Pakistan acquired nuclear weapons just to deter uh, conventionally superior country, India. Uh, followed by North Koreans, Israelis and the North Korean. Israeli got, Israelis got nuclear weapons, uh, you know, for security reasons, obviously, because in Middle East, they had, you know, uh, numerous wars with the Arabs, uh, 22 countries, Arab, uh, you know, surrounding them. Um, and uh, collectively, they had been fighting against the Israelis since 1948, then 67 and 1973. So they had three major wars with Israel. So <clears throat> just to prevent uh, Arab states from attacking again, the Israelis, they also developed nuclear capability in the 80s and ultimately they became a nuclear weapon state. So uh, right now they are covert nuclear weapon states. They did not, you know, carry out uh, any uh, open test of their nuclear weapons, but they have the capability. According to some estimates, they possess around 80 to 200 nuclear warheads. Followed by the North Koreans, and of course, North Korea uh, also had some issues, security-related issues, because uh, they had some problems with the Japanese, and of course, the Americans were also present in East Asia. So just to counter the Japanese and the South Korea and the American nexus against North Korea. So they wanted to, you know, uh, protect themselves. So that was the reason they, they acquired nuclear weapons, just to prevent North, South Korea, Japan, and US uh, from any aggressive attack against them. So this was the beginning. And um, that uh, this is the answer to the first question that why countries go for nuclear weapons. So these were some of the reasons that countries acquired nuclear weapons for global status, for security, uh, and uh, some for the hegemonic design. Uh, the first nuclear test, the Trinity, uh, just for reference, um, the United States of America became a nuclear weapon state in 1945. And uh, this particular uh, you know, uh, a test was named the tr Trinity. Uh, and uh, it was the first uh, test by the United States of America. And uh, with this, uh, a nuclear age began uh, in the world and the United States of America became a nuclear weapon state. And after that, the US uh, you know, uh, uh, used nuclear weapons as a policy um, in, in Japan. And ultimately, um, there are two weapons. Initially, the first weapon, the Catman and the Little Boy, these were the two weapons which were dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, uh, the Japanese cities. Uh, as you all know that the US and Japan, um, uh, they were having some, you know, cold relationships during the Cold War, uh, before the Cold War, during the Second World War. And um, uh, Japanese were not surrendering and they were fighting because Japanese were empire, they had strong economy, and they had a, you know, a strong military base, so they could prolong World War II. So ultimately, the United States of America, uh, in uh, on July 26, um, given them ultimatum, that Japan must surrender, otherwise the United States of America is going to use, uh, you know, um, a new kind of weapon against them. And the world, you know, never knew about this, you know, technology, nuclear technology, nuclear weapons, their destruction. So this was the first time that United States of America used nuclear weapons using this particular aircraft, a bomber aircraft, and they dropped, you know, a little boy um, on uh, Hiroshima and uh, instantly it killed about 80,000 people in uh, you know, Japan. 
and second uh, was you know uh, in nagasaki 